Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Greetings Zambia in the name of Jesus Christ, Son of the Living God. I am Apostle Richard Mongondia from his Vision Ministries. Zambia. I just want to comment on the issue of the President of Zambia, His Excellency President Hakain de Hichilema and the Catholic priest. The, the, the issue that is currently um, that is currently on the media and on the social media. Um, when President Hakain de Hichilema was giving a speech and showing graphs on how things are developing upon this particular nation and some um, some certain adjustments that must be made for us to actually attain the objectives and certain goals that we have to achieve of this particular nation. He was not wrong about it at all. That particular platform and the meeting that he held on that particular day was to show the Zambian people exactly how things are actually moving upon this particular nation. There is no any other way that the president would have given that particular explanatory or explanation without actually using graphs. So him using graphs was not wrong at all because everything that the nation is doing, numbers are definitely involved. So anything in everything that we are doing, in anything that the nation is doing actually, you have to play with numbers and definitely numbers must be used. Now coming to the Catholic priest, when the Catholic priest came in to say that he was supposed to have said uh, issues of Mil Mil and Shima, that was not a platform that the president would have actually given that particular information. So number one, I'm looking at this particular issue as number one. I'm looking at the integrity that we used to see in the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church used to uphold to high levels of integrity and wisdom. For the Catholic priest to come out, to come and table that particular issue, number one, he belittled himself and it trivialized whatever the president was saying. So these are people that would want to listen to what the president would want to say. If the president would want to come up and say, look, listen to what the Catholic priest would want to say, then the Catholic church will rise and say, no, is attacking our priest. In everything that we are doing as great men, across the globe or in Zambia we have to make sure that what we are saying is definitely maintaining peace or is bringing harmony and peace in the nation so number one I'm looking at this particular issue the Catholic priest when he was venturing into this particular issue he had a grudge on his heart you cannot just come and trivialize whatever the president is saying or was saying because the Bible says it in this particular way that we have to respect every ruling authority for every ruling authority does come from God and God has allowed it to be where it is. It was being put in place. Why? Because God allowed it to be in place. So number one, even as we are approaching these particular people, we have to be conscious. We have to be conscious in the things that we say. So the priest had, has, has access to actually send the information. He has got access to communicate with the president. So he would have used another platform to communicate with the president. So him coming out the way he came out, I think, number one, it was wrong. That particular statement that he said was not coming from God. It was a personal vendetta. It's like he's been carrying that particular grudge for quite a long time. So I call upon all the other Catholic priests to actually sit that particular priest down and tell him to say that the way he actually communicated with the president, he, was not, he would have not communicated in that particular manner. Because number one, he portrayed it to say that whatever the president was saying had no grip. It's like the, the, the entire press, the entire meeting actually was was what was a nonsensical meeting. The Zambians were looking for we want to know exactly how this particular country is being run. We're interested in graphs, we want to know. But we're not saying 
that we are making the issue of the people that are suffering, the people that are complaining of a high cost of living, not at all, but because every issue has got its own platform. So a priest, you erred to actually criticize the president in that particular manner. You, you are someone that has got access. You can communicate and use another platform to talk to a president and address that particular issue. So you coming out using that particular platform, the Catholic platform, to actually speak to the president, you are engaging a battle. You are not calling for harmony and peace at all. So we are looking at the, the, the integrity that the Catholic Church had. The Catholic Church had, we, we respect you people as a priest of the Catholic, we know that you are the people that are driven by wisdom and integrity. But on this one, the way you came out as a clergyman, that is coming from your recent ministries international i am not happy in the way that you actually chaired or tabled that particular manner you are someone that has got access you would have probably not criticized the things that the president said you would have brought that particular issue independently not attached to the president the speech that the president was making let's remember that every ruling authority does come from god so even us men of god as we approach these particular issues we have to uphold to high levels of integrity and wisdom or else we are the people that will start complaining to say that the president has got no regards with men of God forgetting that it is the way we are actually venturing into this particular issue that we are not using forms of integrity and wisdom so a priest I Apostle Richard Mungondia I condemn you delete yourself Restruct whatever you said. You are not supposed to criticize. You are supposed to have given that particular information without criticism. You are supposed to have passed that particular information without criticizing what the president said. What the president said on that particular um, time was constructive. It was so pertinent. It was so important that some that people wanted to hear. So you were not supposed to criticize it. I'm not opposing you giving that particular statement, but you would have found a platform upon which you would have conveyed that particular statement. We are men of God. We have to know that everything that we say can divide this particular nation, can bring chaos in the nation, can bring division in the nation. So I appeal to all Catholic members. I appeal to all Catholic members not to take seriously what your priest said for somewhere somewhere it is it was it was intended to ignite and flame up vendettas across zambia so a priest wherever you are be to yourself we are custodians of peace we are custodians of integrity we are looking up to you people as growing up men of god as we are today as i am today i'm looking forward to you and to learn from you a lot of things that you want to say and i still believe in the integrity and the wisdom that the catholic priests have please do not tarnish the image of the Catholic. And actually um, make people actually like avoid listening to whatever you are saying. So I as Apostle Richard, I'm not happy with what you said. Restract it. Apologize. You are the human being. You were supposed to find another platform on which you would have addressed that particular issue. So number one, criticizing. You even know that even the Catholic Church itself, you've got graphs in your church. The, your church is being run by numbers. You account each and everything that comes into your church. So the president was not wrong. The Catholic priest in this particular manner is wrong. You owe the president an apology. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward. Please, we are custodians of peace. We are men of God. If you feel that what I've said, there is a conviction for you to come out and convey or just render an apology to the president, please do it so. For, for the sake of the Zambians, for the sake of the Catholic Church. We believe in the integrity of the Catholic Church. We believe in the wisdom of the Catholic Church. So please lead us by wisdom as we are following you. You must know when to comment. You must know which platform you must use for you to convey the message to the president. We wouldn't want to say that the president is attacking clergy. The government has got no respect from the clergyman. It is us clergymen that must approach these particular issues with wisdom. This has been Apostle Richard Munkondia. I thought it was very important that I come in this particular way. God of my Richard, bless you, our priest. We love you, please. God bless you. Thank you so much, Catholic people. Bye-bye.
all right that's all right for you today lovely viewers if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below i'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers once again i go by the name of mutatim pondum i love you peace i gotta go